So today you're going to be reacting to yourself in a way that sometimes makes the reactors a little uncomfortable. To myself? Today you'll be reacting to your audition for College Kids React. Ew, no! <laughs> oh my god! I remember I was nervous as all hell when I walked into the studio. Oh, I'm gonna look like a four-year-old! Ah, this is weird! I remember that day! I remember I was wearing a terrible dress for my color scheme. And my hair was a mess. I was so amazed by how nice everyone was. Cause I was so nervous. JC was here with me, like, and right, he's right here right now, it's like full circle. Like he wasn't with me in the audition, but he was with me the first day I came into the office as officially here. <laughs> the foot clap at the beginning. The foot clap, I remember, see, I actually remember that. And I remember I went to go look up this video right after I auditioned just because. I was like, oh my gosh, like, that was funny as hell. I'm not even kidding, I think you did the same motion <laughs> that you were doing in the video. <laughs> That's my thing! That's literally my, th oh gosh, that's so gross! I have a pair of those pants at home. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do. What did you think of his dance move? Oh. <laughs> I definitely have to find out who he is so I can learn from him, because they're pretty sick. Ew, who says sick? Who says sick? Nobody uses that anymore. And how often do you take selfies? Too often would kind of be an understatement. <laughs> Yeah, my selfie game has kind of diminished since then. Lighting is everything. Like, I've spent many a time in a bathroom at Red Lobster, just like, oh, let me take like six selfies right now, because why not? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't remember saying that. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I'm so ashamed. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. He's pulling off the maid outfit, too. Like, <laughs> I couldn't do it personally, because I, I don't have the legs for it. I got the legs for it now, though. I can't run and selfie at the same time. Yeah. I can't multitask that way. I still can't multitask now, so that's a thing, too. <laughs> Glad some things haven't changed about me. What do you think of the guy's clothes in the video? <laughs> I still do the ha Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. It was weird, like, I left here with the mindset of like, you know what, even if I don't get called back, which probably isn't gonna happen, it was a fun thing, so I'm like, damn, this is something I'll always remember, and it's like, I got a call back, and I was like, oh, snap, that's crazy. Yeah. Sister is, um, doesn't really like Selena Gomez. What's going on with my hair? Yeah, kind of like, oh, she's okay. I'm like, talking about what's going on with my hair right now, but other times it's just kind of like, eh. I hate the way I sound. Do I sound like that? This was like a big thing on Twitter that she had like, oh, she's like showing herself a little bit more. And it was just kind of like, oh, I guess. I mean, Ugh. she's getting older. It's not like this she's is awful. Something. The way I sound and like just what I'm saying, I'm just like, Ugh, what was I thinking? Because they would play it all the time, like stuff on the radio. It's just kind of like they overplay it. But now that you know, I can't get over my hair. It's just too much. But then I can't because my hair now just looks awful. It's very all over the place. But I mean, it's a good song. I mean, my eyebrows I are like so it. big. I feel like uh, a lot of people, you know, really relate to it. Uh, why didn't anybody tell me that my eyebrows were so big? My fiance didn't tell me. I'm coming after you, babe. Oh my gosh, I love this, this guy. I still love these people. The poor thing, all she wants to do is work out like I'm not even gonna listen to me. I'm just gonna watch the video. If that was me, it would be so different. Like, I wouldn't take it or... But it's so funny to watch. Is it? Is it so funny to watch? Oh. It does prepare you for like the show now because now you kind of don't know what to expect and going into that I didn't know what I was going to be doing. I was just like really like nerve-wracking at first. When I started, like when I did my first episode, I kind of like eased into it. Now, doing it now, it's like easier. Once you get used to it, it is a lot of fun. My fiance makes me watch them with him. And I don't mind because I mean, I like to see his reaction to it. But when I come on, I'm like, ugh, there I am. If I can be honest, ah! it's uh, from the face and the hair, like my dad, and I can show you a picture. But he's not gonna be part of that. That's the first thing I said, I remember. Oh my god, that's so bad. I can show you a picture of my dad. No. It looks like that. Stop that's talking so about your dad. Stop talking about your dad. I looked at it and I thought, like, my dad dancing, for me, was fun, but I don't think he would like to record himself. Or I wonder what their kids think, like his kids. I don't know if he has kids but I think it's funny. But I think it's funny. <laughs> what the hell is that voice? Oh, what is a selfie? I can show you. Can I bring my phone? I love taking selfies. Hold your phone like this. 
Then you use me it. trying to be Kourtney Kardashian, how to teach you how to eat a Kit Kat. And then you, you do it. I'm not professional like Kim Kardashian, but I'm still obsessed with the Kardashians. Guilty pleasure, I watch them all day long. Didn't you show this before? Yes, I saw when you guys reacted yeah, right? to this. That, that shows I'm a huge yeah. fan from back in the day. Chokey, cho, chokey or choke me, and I don't like that. Oh, I used to be like this. I'm definitely like more out in the chair. So to hear about when we're holding auditions today, people can follow us on Instagram and we post all of that information. How did you end up finding out about auditioning in the first place? So I followed you guys on Instagram because I'd been watching the show like religiously since you guys started the channel. And then there is a post one day that was like, oh, uh, attention all college kids, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know what, shoot your shot. Because, I mean, worst case scenario, you just don't do it. But the fact that you even attempted to do it, that's enough as it is. Every time I come here, there's always something new. There's always a new experience. This is just, like, the definition of, like, doors open to so many possibilities. And I'm just like, it's such a blessing to be here, guys. I found that on the audition on Instagram. So I follow you guys. Go follow at FBE. I applied, and then they called me to come to LA. And I came. I reacted. And they're like, we'll get to back to you, like, in two weeks, three weeks. And then next week they call me and I'm here filming High School Musical video and I was like, this is great. I can do that. And why did you want to be on the show? I love this show from, from the beginning. I used to watch it when like, it was first like Tom and Madison and they were like really, really young. The first person to show it to me was my little brother and then I just started watching it from then. I never thought I'd be on the show now and I think it's really cool to be watching a show and then be on it. I thought <laughs> that People would want to hear me talk about things that I thought were important or not important because I'm very vocal about stuff and people are like, you're so opinionated, you always have something to say. And I do talk a lot, so I mean, I guess it'd be kind of cool if I could be on it. I like to give my opinion, I like to talk. FBE, like Benny and Rafi were my OG's favorite YouTubers with Smosh, them, and like everyone else in Jenna Marbles. Sometimes we do content of toys, like fidget spinners, but sometimes we'll talk about something serious, politics, and it's getting everyone involved. And you guys have from all ethnicities, all ages, and I just like that vibe. And finally, for anyone out there who wants to be on this show one day, what would your best advice be for the audition process? Just be yourself. Don't try to over-exaggerate. They are gonna like you for who you are. You don't lose anything trying. That's the main thing. You don't lose anything trying. It's amazing, why not? You can dream, that's what everyone says, because it's true. But to dream, you have to make action. Be as open and honest about everything as possible so that you can kind of showcase like who you are. Everything that we do on this channel is like genuine from the heart, like us. And people kind of resonate with that. And I'm sure somebody is going to be able to resonate with you the same way. Hi guys, thanks for watching this episode. If you're interested in being on the show, make sure to follow us on Instagram, at FBE. That's where we post when we're looking for new reactors. Good luck, everyone. Bye.